lots of shredders. In this video, we are looking at how much the new Champions Path Shiny Charizard and Rainbow V Max Charizard has been selling for. Champions Path officially releases tomorrow on September the 25th, but people have already been getting these booster packs and elite trainer boxes early and people have already been pulling those Charizards. Both of these Charizards are obviously the chase cards of this set, but how much are these already selling for raw? In this video, we're going to take a look at what these are currently selling for, compare them to the prices of the Ben Shadows Rainbow Charizards and the Hidden Fates Raw SV Shiny Vault Charizards. And then we're going to have a little bit of speculation and a little bit of discussion around how these prices are going to fluctuate over the coming weeks and months as more people start to get them and as people start getting these cards graded. I'm hoping to get a big delivery of Champions Path cards tomorrow and if I do, I will be filming opening videos and posting them tomorrow and over the weekend. So if you would like to see them and have a chance to win some free Pokemon cards, make sure to hit the subscribe button and comment down below. Let me know if you've just subscribed or if you're an already existing subscriber. While you're down in the comment section, guys, answer this question for me. Which is your favourite Charizard from the Champions Path set? Is it the Shiny Charizard or is it the Rainbow VMAX Charizard? Let me know down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button and then get ready, shreddy and go. It's today's video. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Card Classic with the jacked, stacked, serial thriller, oh, Pokemon Card Collecting, Shreddy. In today's video, guys, we are looking at the prices of the Champions Path Shiny Charizard and the Rainbow VMAX Charizard. The minute sales data is somewhat limited, all of the sales so far have been raw. This is because the set isn't even officially out yet. Today, I've seen a few people on Instagram picking them up. I still don't have mine, but I will be getting some tomorrow and I'll be doing opening videos and posting them on the channel tomorrow and over the weekend. So make sure to subscribe for them. But now we're going to jump in to eBay for the sold prices. Also, for regular viewers of the Pokemon Card Classic, you might notice that Shreddy has just had a nice little trim. This is what you call the true shred head. So let me know down in the comments below which Charizard you think is the best of Champions Path. Do you think it is the Rainbow VMAX Charizard or do you think it is the Shiny Charizard? I'm torn. I still don't know which one I prefer. Both cards are sick. Both cards are pretty cool. But we're going to start off by looking at the prices of the Rainbow Charizard from Champions Path. And we are on ebay.com here. I know most of my viewers are in the US. I am obviously in the UK. Shreddy is born and bred. He is 100% prime British beef. But you don't have any sales data to go on um, through ebay.co.uk. So we're heading over to ebay.com. So, so sold on September the 24th, which is the today when this video is being recorded and hopefully uploaded. We're seeing a sale at $1,200. I, and this is a little bit of advice for anyone looking to buy cards out there and also sell, I never go by the sale price of just, or the sold price of just one individual listing, unless it is a super, super rare or super, super scarce card that comes up. For example, an Illustrator Pikachu. You have to go by a couple of sales before we can establish that price. There's always anomalies in the data, such as a super high price sale or a super low price sale. You can't just look at one of those sales and dictate this is the new price of the item. You have to go by a couple of sales recorded. So we can see that one is sold for $1,200. The next one there was $1,299.99. It's all important. You say that all important. One penny or that one cent there. So $1,300-ish was the asking price. However, it didn't sell for that. It sold for a best offer. We've got a couple there with both cards listed. We're going to ignore those for now. We've got another one listed here for $1,200. It sold for less than that. It sold for whatever somebody offered. $1,800. And we're scrolling down. So that's, we've only got a couple. So the only one we can kind of solidly say it sold for is this price here, $1,200. And this set is brand new. It is That is a crazy price for 
a raw card um let's have a look so it looks like this might have been a buy now listing because there's no bin history on that so we'll go to if we can one of the other listings and we'll see again this would be by an hour best offer because we've got that straight through so we're very limited in the data we can go by so far on the rainbow cards so we're going to go over to the shiny cards and again let's see the starting off with a buy now best offer one sold apparently for one thousand two hundred forty uh, one thousand two hundred seventy four dollars ninety nine cents one sold for apparently today one sold for one thousand one hundred today um buy now best offer Buy it now there, listed price, uh, the sold price, sorry, $1,400, $1, went for $1,150 um, two days ago, $1,100, $1,100, so it looks like this one has been selling for around that $1,100 mark, one went for $1,400 apparently, but then the very next one went for under $1,200, $1,100 $1, again, so I would personally discount that 1,400 sale and I'm going to say that the shiny Charizard is selling for $1,100 or around that mark raw. Hard to say for the rainbow Charizard, but we can probably kind of guess or estimate based on these sales that you're looking at around that 1,200-ish figure. So potentially a little bit less, maybe like 1,100. But it looks like the rainbow cards less have been sold. So I don't know if the rainbow is more rare in the set or if just for whatever reason less have been selling. So we're looking at on at a safe guess at the moment. The rainbow card is around that $1,200 mark. The shiny card is around that $1,100 mark. This set is brand new. The cards haven't even hit retail stores yet. Most pre-orders haven't even been delivered yet, and we're already seeing crazy prices for these cards raw. This is pretty normal, however. You don't need to be jumping in right now and buying these cards unless you're kind of one of these innovators who wants an early adopter who wants the card there and then they're too patient. You've got a ton of money just to throw and buy the card there and then. I personally would not be paying this price for these cards. I would be waiting to actually open some packs myself. Or just waiting for more to hit the market. Because this price for the raw cards, in my opinion, is going to go down. Because in a couple of days time, we're going to see a ton of these hit the market. And if more hit the market, I think we're going to see that price go down. So how does this compare with the prices of the shiny charizard from hidden fates and the rainbow so 1100 is the champion's path price raw so we can see that the price of the shiny charizards here raw 4000 uh, sorry 448 559 looking for raw 495 oh 650 so i'm going to buy them there um 499 so i think on average these look to be selling for around that four uh, sorry that 500 dollar mark and um, the shiny charizards yeah i'd be confident after looking at just a couple of these that they're probably selling for um, do i sell for 400 there actually so that was a bit um, a little bit weird also 411 there scrolling down just to see more and obviously the conditions of raw cards you know it's hard to get the accurate pricing you can see there 560 these went for auction so auction it's always a bit of a gamble as to what you're going to get as to you know how well listed the card was what time it finished how many people knew about the listing so the shining charizard yeah the price are a little bit all over for the raw cards um but anywhere probably between that like kind of 420 550 dollar mark seems to be around the average just based on these past couple of sales so the rainbow charizards card from ben shadows a lot cheaper the cards are a lot older now um so there's obviously more on the market you can see just scrolling through the prices here 300 dollars 400 dollars 300 again 265 850 mm, very weird and um, 480 so it probably is around a third of the price a quarter of the as low as quarter of the price potentially why are we doing this comparison? Well, it's almost a redundant task at this point. However, content for YouTube. But in all seriousness, 
it's just interesting to look at the prices of these cards because the Rainbow Charizard from Ben Shadows was the last single Rainbow card, uh, Rainbow Charizard card, I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe that's the case. So it's interesting just to compare that to the prices of the newest card. What does this mean though? What does the price of these new cards mean? Well, first up, the prices as of now are high because there's not many in the market. They will go down in price, I believe, as more hit the market. However, it may take a little bit of time for that to happen. Where the real value of these cards and the real comparison is going to come into place, and I'll do another video on this if you guys would like to see it down the road, is comparing the prices of the PSA 10s of the Champions Path cards, the Ben Shadows into the Hidden Fates cards. The, PS, the prices of the PSA versions are going to depend on how hard it is to grade these cards. And we're not going to know that for a couple of weeks, potentially a couple of months. If people are getting them with PSA, grade with PSA, it's going to be a few months before we find that out. If people send off to BGS, I know the turnaround for those are a lot quicker. So it's going to be a little bit of a waiting game before we can kind of fully compare what the prices are going to be. However, the prices of these newer cards always tend to start off really high or high-ish, they might go up a tiny bit more once a couple have been graded, but typically the card prices start really high and then you start seeing a little bit of a dip or at least a bit of a decline if the cards are fairly easy to grade and lots of uh, PSA 10s are coming back. Why am I saying this? Or what proof do I have of this? Well, look at the shiny, uh, the SV Charizard, the shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates. Somebody paid, was it like 10 grand or 8 grand or something for that card? And then quickly the price of that card dropped and dropped and dropped because there's just, it's an easy card to grade. It's yet yeah, super rare to pull, but most of those cards seem to be getting 10s. If you look at the population reports, there's a ton of PSA 10s of those cards out there. And the easier a card is to grade, the less it's going to be worth because there's more on the market. Only time will tell for the time being if these cards from Champions Path are going to be easy or hard to grade. And we're not going to have a full kind of what, comprehensive overview or a full understanding of what the prices of these cards are going to be until those graded cards come back. So what can you do in the meantime if you are desperate to get your hands on one of these Charizards? Well, the product, the set, actually launches tomorrow, September the 25th. Elite Trainer boxes are sold out pretty much everywhere on pre-order. They will be available in retail stores. So before you go and pay the scalpers, the super high prices, just go and check your local retail store tomorrow. In the UK, you know, you go and go and look for Game, Smith's Toy Store, Get and Tainer, Forbidden Planet. And those are the kind of main retail shops that I can like, kind of think of the top of my head will stock um, these Elite Trainer boxes. Where you want to be looking after this, is independent comic stores or even card shops smaller toy shops local um, stores like that then if you can't get hold of the elite trainer boxes there's going to be pin badge sets the gym pin badge sets um pretty much everywhere i doubt those are going to be sold out because there's not been a huge demand for those online it's just those elite trainer boxes because the charizards on the front look cool people want to get hold of them and it does work out the best value for money in terms of the amount of booster packs you're getting for the price that you're paying. However, don't be pre uh, don't be buying the super inflated prices just quite yet. I would personally head into a retail store tomorrow, try and pick some up in store. If you can't get them in store and you're desperate for an elite trainer box, what can you do then? Either pay the premium from someone online or wait a little bit because there's a second wave coming in October. If you just want to open some booster packs, however, Go out and buy the gym, uh, gym pin badge set, which will be available at retail tomorrow. And there's still place online you can buy them from. So you shouldn't have too much difficulty trying to get hold of them and buying those. So if you want the Shining Charizard or if you want the Rainbow Charizard, go and pick some packs up. If you just not want for opening booster packs and you just want that one specific card, well, the only thing you can do there is wait for somebody to be selling the cards. Check eBay, check the Facebook groups, check Instagram while you're there. You can also follow me. I'll put the link down in the description below. But that's what you want to be doing. Just checking the prices 
I personally would not be buying these cards singular right now because the prices are going to be probably the highest they'll be right now. If you wait a couple of weeks, I would guarantee that these prices are going to drop. The PSA cards, the PSA prices, at the moment, it's hard to say what the prices of those are going to look like. And we're not going to be able to make a fair comparison to the older sets of cards until probably a few months from now when we've got a good you know, idea of the population report and people graded the cards. And we have a better idea of how rare these cards actually are to pull. Is it going to be one in every couple of hundred of packs that one of these gets pulled on average? Or is it going to be one in every couple of dozen packs that one of these gets pulled? At the minute, we don't know. Champions Path is a set that I've been super excited about since it was announced, since those Elite Trainer boxes um, got posted. That was what sparked the initial hype and the initial interest. When the two Charizard cards were announced, that got people super, super excited. I recently did a video on why I don't think Champions Path is going to be the next Hidden Fates. So I'll put a link for that down in the description box below if you would like to go and check that out. I will be uploading open videos of Champions Path over the next couple of days. So if you would like to see some of the cards in that set, and if you would like a chance to win some booster packs and to win some cards, make sure you subscribe and watch those videos when they launch and when they land over the next couple of days. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comments below which Charizard you're looking forward to pulling most and which one is your favourite. Is it the shiny Charizard or is it the rainbow Charizard? Also, while you're down in the comments section, please let me know what videos you would like to see come up on the channel. Please let me know what topics you would like to see me talk about on the channel. I hope everybody who's buying Champions Path over the next couple of days gets some super sick and super awesome pulls. Share those with me over on Instagram. But for now, remember that collecting ain't no gimmick, it's a lifestyle.